so um, in terms of the, the, the workers' rights, we were focused on the occupational and health safety. And of course, as you know, the National Trade Union Congress and Chairman, we've been working on that document. We've completed that document and we have written to the Ministry of Labor ready to submit the final document as agreed by the NTCB and PCCI. That was submitted on the 17th of November. We're still waiting for a feedback from, from the ministry. Um, however, we have agreed that um, we'll write the push to get the push on the agenda for the next Labor Advisory Board meeting. Um, we also spoke about C-158, you know, that protects the workers from the from employers who continue to send home workers without any reason or cause by way of the very weak labor laws that we have. Um, we're also aware that, um, and it's taking a long while, that the ministry is working on a comprehensive review of the labor laws with assistance from uh, our regional and international partners. So we've been very focused on, uh, on, on workers' rights. As it relates to the national issues, we know that the cost of energy continues to be a uh, concern to the region because we know the cost of energy also has an impact on inflation, cost of energy, inflation, cost of living, um, uh, cost of fuel, it continues to be a concern. Of course, the National Trade Union Congress, um, we could do a lot more with the involvement of our social partners. Right, so we definitely will be taking advantage of uh, our social partners to see how we could develop um, meaningful plans and strategies to address those very serious concerns, including, apart from that, uh, uh, we have including the, the, the fact that uh, there still isn't an ombudsman. The Integrity Commission was what, recently appointed, I think maybe a week or two ago, um, no labor commissioner. The public service commission, it took them over six months to find a chair and to get that commission going. We've also, we've also uh, spoke about uh, corruption and uncap and how we could continue to push to get those, uh, those legislations going, for example, with the law and illicit enrichment and so on, the National Trade Union Congress. We've already made our submissions to the ministry. Um, so they've shared draft bills with us. We submitted our position on those draft bills and we have expected that those bills would be tabled in the National Assembly. So uh, certainly we have to push on that. 